Hi, I'm Mark. The purpose of today's car fit program is to have a look at Dawn's seating position and also the operation of the main vehicle controls. The car fit program has an 11 point checklist. Today we're looking at four of those major points. Head restraint adjustment, adjusting the seat belt, adjustments on the steering wheel and also correctly setting our side and rear view mirrors. The proper way for an adult to wear a seat belt is to have the seat belt low and flat across the collarbone area and also low and flat across the pelvic area here. How's that feel, Dawn? No, it's too high, Mark. I think I'll slide it down. Dawn's just adjusting the seat belt now with the slider adjustment on the seat belt here. Yeah, How does that feel now? Much better, thank you. Looks a lot yeah. better. Dawn, the next thing we want to have a look at is your steering wheel. You've got a number of adjustments on the steering wheel. Will it really important to use those adjustments to make sure that you're the correct distance from the airbag and that you have clear vision of the dashboard? Do you know where your control is on this for adjusting it? I, I do, it's underneath, but at the moment I'm not happy with the way it is because I can't see, see the uh, dashboard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in and I'm going to lock it in, I think. Great. So I've locked it in. I'm happy with that. So you've used that control to lock it into the place that suits yeah. you. Yeah. And we have the correct distance now from the airbag to your chest, which is about an A4 paper length, about 25 centimetres. Yeah, I'd hate the airbag to hit me in the face. Yeah, you don't want to point it at your face, you want it pointed at your chest. Um, to reduce injury if it did happen to deploy in an accident. Yeah. Next control we're looking at is the head restraint. You can see here that the head restraint is actually in the middle of the back of Dawn's head there and very important that we have this correct to prevent whiplash in the event of an accident. How does that feel Dawn? That feels very good Mark, very comfortable and uh, yeah, if I were in a car accident I know that I'd be restrained to the airbag the right place and the head would be there and I wouldn't get that whiplash. Yes, you can see how all these yeah. controls are starting to come together now to yeah. optimise your safety and also your comfort in the vehicle while you're controlling it. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, we're looking at correct adjustments of the rear view mirror. Ideally, we want to minimise blind spots and also maximise visibility. Little exercise we're going to do now, I'm going to be moving back away from, the, from you and you should be able to see how many fingers I'm holding up as I move back to them. Three, two, four. That's great. Counted. So that indicates that we've got it set up correctly. Okay, so even though we have got our rear view mirror set correctly, there will always be blind spots. I'm in a blind spot at the moment. How do we check where the blind spots are? I can see you. <laughs> exactly right. So whenever we merge, right or left, we should always do a head check as well. How's all that, Dawn? Another aspect that I'd like to talk about is just getting in and out of the vehicle. We've talked about the adjustments in, and the controls on this vehicle. It's also important how we get in and out of the vehicle as well. Really important that we get out the correct way so as to minimise injury or the chances of injury. So we can see Dawn here, she's opened the door up. Really important putting both feet onto the ground. Same thing when we're getting into the vehicle. So let's see how you get in the vehicle, Dawn. So making sure that the seat belt's out of the way, placing the bottom and swinging your legs around into the vehicle. You've done that before, Dawn. I have. <laughs> I think the most important thing about car fit is the fact that we all are different drivers. Uh, I have certainly a different driver in my daughter and when she drives my car, every time I get back in to drive it, I have to adjust everything in it. So please be aware that if there's been a driver in your car, in your seat, that you have to be aware of all these adjustments that you must make. So make sure that you do them because it's very important. If you want any more information, please go to mynrma.com.au.